Hi, this is Dr. Madeline with Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Welcome. Uh, today I would like to do a reading for Aries for the uh, month of August. And uh, let's start with a little reading by Danielle Dobie. Ruled by the planet of passion, her story is one of action, direction, and movement. She does not wait on the voice of her mission to be smart, strong, or beautiful. She knows that only she gets to write the rules on what it means to be a force in this world. A flash of light, a one-way street, a bow and arrow. She is the stereo turned up, a new mountain to climb, pushing herself and others outside of their comfort zones. Um, Aries, I am her. By Diane Dobie. So the... Uh, Spirit token animal of the uh, month is the eagle spirit. Eagle has your back. And this is like the perfect Aries um, animal. I was reading about it and it's talking about you don't need to worry about the group. You don't need to worry about what others think of you. Just go for it. Fly high. Um, and uh, use your eagle eye to see the details and your ability to fly to uh, see the big picture as you fly above um, above the clouds you're above the storms of life and uh, you can soar on your wings and the the wind is lifting you up is the spirit spirit has your back and so no matter where you're going or what you're doing uh, remember that um, you are being guided and lifted by spirit in your life. So, um, the first part of the month of August, we're looking at the uh, Five of Wands and Three of Wands. So, um, there's a possibility that at the beginning of the month there will be a little conflict in your work. And it may have something to do with um, you know, if you, if you have a job that has something to do with overseas, um, or, uh, you know, things, you may have your own business. If you don't, it may be something where, um, it has something to do with shipping or, uh, something, you know, coming in and out, um, uh, products. Uh, so there may be some conflicts going on. So let's take a look at the cards to, that told us a little more about this. And, um, it's the, uh, the, the nine of, Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the uh, two, two of Pentacles. So the, the Cups is kind of surrounded by the Pentacles. So the Pentacles are the... Uh, it's interesting because these first two cards were, were uh, fire, fiery energies, uh, which is your energy, the Aries. But then the, um, the cards that are kind of, you know, identifying them a little closer are um, earth and water so they're kind of calming you down so i think that it helps to calm down this uh, struggle that you'll have at the beginning by remembering that you know you are you are in your element you have all the gifts that you need and this particular card has has a hawk in it with a hood on it so it can't really see but once she lets that hawk soar once again, just like the eagle, it will um, be able to, um, you know, fly, uh, fly out into the world. It'll see the big picture, and yet it'll see the details that it needs to see. So during this conflict at the beginning of the month, rem you know, look to the eagle. To, you know, you don't have to make everyone else happy. You can make yourself happy. And you already have. You have all the elements there. You just need to find them. And um, part of that that happiness is, you know, a, a new a beginning of the things that you love. So as this conflict is going on, look at the things that you love and see how can they become stronger in your life. How can these elements become more uh, focused in your life? And so as... As this element grows um, in your life, you will begin to get more balance. 
So you might, at the beginning of the month, feel very imbalanced when it comes to your money, your time, you know, all of those kind of things. But remember that um, as you focus on this water, what really matters to you, um, that will uh, help to balance things out in your mind and the decisions that you're making. So, um, you know, it may be, I, I kind of feel like this is work-related. It could be, like, home-related. There's a conflict going on at home. Know that you have the answers, and they are in you. And as you follow your heart, you will find them. And it will bring you, lead you to balance. So, in the middle of the month, um, we're looking at the Tower and the Page of Cups. So the tower is something that happens pretty dramatically. Um, you know, it's a, this lightning is coming and it's crashing into the tower and it's breaking it down. I love the water because the water comes in and washes it away. So, you know, whatever gets broken down gets washed away. And this one has the water in it too. And so what's being built back up in the spot of where it crashes down is, you know, romance, love, if you feel like this is more having to do with your career this this month, it could be building in even stronger. So here you started out with the Ace of Cups and you're moving into the Page of Cups. So a stronger le level of loving what you're doing and understanding what you're doing. So this, this tower, I think it'll be different things for different people. Let's take a look and see what the cards are kind of showing us. One thing I want to mention is uh, this week, um, there wasn't any uh, rain, but all of a sudden I, w I woke up in the night, I saw this big flash of light and heard the flash of light. The lightning was so close that the not only was the thunder in the lightning, but I could hear the crack of the lightning. It like knocked out all of our clocks and everything. And uh, so, you know, it really is, I think, a week. A week of of towers so this uh full full moon in um aquarius is bringing on some real changes um and having to do with some of the things in our hearts so let's take a look at what the cards are saying about the tower okay so interesting so i didn't look at these before i started the video um the empress upside down the seven of uh, cups upside down and the sun right side up then the tower so this is really a, a tower tower in the middle of the month and then going into what you love which is totally what you're talking about oh my goodness okay so we're moving, we're moving. The good thing is the tower is going to be leading you, the new growth, you know, from the, the foundation is going to be leading into you doing even more of what you love in your life. So, um, you know, you're, you're feeling insecure, um, that things are not really happy either on the home front or the work front, um, you know, are joyful. Just, I think of this as more joyful. The cups are like joy and gratitude and um, all of those kind of things. So that stuff just isn't there. You, you don't have a lot of uh, kind of insecure and un, you know unhappy. And then and then there's the happy card. But it's a, it's I'm kind of like looking at the kid and thinking it's kind of a young a young baby put on happiness that's trying to happen. And then this, this um, tower comes and just psh, knocks away whatever's, whatever's really making you unhappy. And, uh, and probably that has something to do with this fight at the, the beginning of the month. So something to do with this fight at the beginning of the month uh, leads you to feeling, you know, insecure and not a lot of joy, not a lot of appreciation for what's really going on kind of a, a false happiness um, being expressed and then boom that tower happens 
And then after that, you're able to grow something that you really love. So that's a, a great thing. And then let's see what this one was. Oh, Page of Cups. So again, um, we're moving into uh, that thing that we are, are really looking for. It's offering you this uh, this cup. You know, it's interesting that this cup has a fish in it. You know, maybe um, some Pisces or something will be involved in that. Um, in that offer. So then the, uh, the, the third part of the month, the end of the month, uh, we're looking at the, uh, Hierophant upside down and, uh, the eight of wands. You know, it's funny cause I don't usually put my cards in the deck, uh, reversed. So usually if they come out reversed, I, I don't say anything because I figure that's the way they're supposed to be. So I'm thinking, you know, the, the Hierophant in reverse is, um, you know, chaos and uh, clamoring. And there's a, a message coming in to you in relation to that uh, chaos that's, that's happening in your life. And so let's see a little bit more about the chaos. Okay, so it again has something to do with coming to the end of... Um, you know, this, this happiness, this happiness, uh, and this, uh, joy and this gratitude that you've had within, within yourself. So whatever you were doing, you were enjoying it, but it has come to an end. So it's creating a little chaos in you. You're like, why is this ending? Why can't I just be keep continuing on with this? And so then the message is coming in, um, to tell you, um, so it's Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, uh, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and King of Swords, and Her Hierophant. And the Hierophant was I'd set up. So I was like, okay, we've come to the point now. This this message leads us to the point of feeling no longer in chaos, having a more uh, stable, um, sturdy, steady, uh, structured point of view. So we're, you know, the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor uh, leading up to the uh, the Five of Pentacles. So you might be looking at uh, these other people and going, wow, they're really awesome. But look at me. I don't really have that much. You know, but, but realizing that you do have a, a lot from your, your friends and understanding some of the the truths that maybe are, are keeping you from really expressing this joy will bring you to a better level of understanding. So um, when you're when you're stressing out, when you're having to look at something new, when you're not really wanting to make that change, you're kind of fighting against it, you're looking to others and thinking, wow, they have it so much better than me. Remember that um, you're going to be brought to some kind of a truth, a realization. You know, maybe it's that um, your whole life you thought, oh, you know, good people don't make money. Or, um, you know, what, what are we always, we always told, you know, uh, children are, not, are, are seen and not heard. You know, what, what kind of things were brought into your mind uh, as you were a kid that kind of, Hold you into into where you where you are today, and keeping you from having this uh, true joyfulness and happiness in your life, and uh, the structure that you need. So I think this month is going to be a huge transformative month for you. Spirit has your back. Remember that. So as you move through it with a little uh, discomfort in relationships, a major. <laughs> Uh, a major tower, the, the tower twice, we're definitely having a, t a tower moment, uh, breaking down something and the building of something new and uh, moving into, you know, kind of a, a loss of that, um, you know, security and a need to have that uh, self-security built again. And to look, look to your past, look to your childhood to try to find those uh, moments that maybe have led you in a direction you didn't, you didn't want to go. So, um, in the, the, uh, back of the deck, we have the, um, page of pentacles. 
So, you know, the we have the um, Page of Cups twice and the Page of Pentacles. So uh, we really are being offered some good things, good message, good, uh, good message of something that will bring you more wealth and happiness. So and you probably also will be having some, a little bit of despair. Maybe your dreams will direct you a little bit in some of the things. Sometimes I find that my dreams about the past will then lead me toward a recollection of, oh yeah, I always used to think that. That's probably not a good idea to think that anymore. So it'll kind of lead you to that. And then the back of the back of the deck, uh, six of swords, uh, moving into the six of pentacles. So it's two sixes here. So as as we move into the unknown to this new thing, you're moving in the right direction. And part of that will be learning how to give and how to really give to others. And as you give to others, you make room to receive more gifts. So, if, you know, it's like I said on another one, if you give away your pennies, you might be able to get your quarters. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to, to give and to give of yourself freely. Because in that free giving, um, you, you will be receiving. Now, you don't do it just for that reason. You do it out of the goodness of your heart. But, um... As as you give out of the goodness of your heart, it will uh, it will benefit others and yourself. And the um, animal totem at the bottom of the deck is the antelope. So the antelope life is speeding up. So the antelope can run from danger. Um, it can, uh, and certainly this month life will be speeding up. You have a lot of of things going on and uh, as that that life is speaking up uh, let me get a little uh, message for you from the the wellness deck Abraham Hicks when I'm feeling good I'm allowing in good the way you feel is your indication of your vibrational connection to that which is your source the better you feel the better your connection the worse you feel, the more disallowance to that connection. Nothing is more important than that you feel good because nothing is more important than that your connection to that which is your source. So at first when I would read read these and it's talking about feeling good, I would think of like, oh, how good I feel when I'm eating a bar of chocolate <laughs> or how good it, you know, but it really is a much deeper feeling. So when you when you have the choice of going to two different events, and if you really think about it, and one of them feels good, that's the one you should do. It's the one that feels right. And it may not be the one that everyone else is telling you to do, but it's the one that you need to do. So anyway, have a great month, Aries. And um, this uh, this is Dr. Madeline. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share. And also check out check out Aunt Dan three twenty seven. That's my son. Check out Aunt Dan three two seven. And subscribe, like our videos. That's right. And so please subscribe. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. And I think my mommy wants to get to at least like 500 likes. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. That would be great. Okay, Aries, we will talk to you again next month.